we know for many years that the immune system plays a very important role in the regulation of uh, neurogenesis. It also controls uh, synaptic, from like synaptic pruning. Uh, we also know that the immune system contributes significantly to uh, neurological diseases like multiple sclerosis and Alzheimer's disease. The major finding of this paper was the discovery that T cells, a very important component of immune system, control social brain functions. And social function is extremely important for our normal well-being. So it's a contribute to our emotional health. It's also contribute to, um, to reproduction. It's a, it's a group survival. Uh, and it's known that the, the disorders or social, or social dysfunction is usually associated with uh, various uh, mental diseases like schizophrenia, uh, autism, uh, autism spectrum disorders, also show a profound uh, social dysfunction. We also know that uh, various dementia diseases uh, demonstrate social dysfunction. Uh, the discovery in this paper was uh, that the T cells contribute or play a critical role in, uh, in controlling social brain functions. So I developed um, a novel computational pipeline to examine the, in, the complexity of immune signaling and brain function. And we found unexpected in, uh, connection between um, T-cell mediated interferon gamma signaling pathway and um, social brain function. The pipeline developed will serve um, as uh, a new platform to identify novel pathways linking immune signaling and brain functions with the goal to identify um, uh, develop novel therapeutics. For the first time it provides a platform to, uh, to investigate the connection, to systematically investigate the connection between the immune signaling and the various brain functions. So from now on, anyone can just use our study and uh, to use as a, as a template to investigate the uh, involvement of uh, various immune components in, the, in the different uh, brain uh, dysfunctions. Particularly our finding contributes to deeper understanding of uh, pathology of uh, autism spectrum disorders or social dysfunction that uh, we see in schizophrenia patients or in dementia patients. And in theory, so, it's, so in the, for practical implications that might lead to novel therapeutic approaches to these diseases and also a restoration of social, uh, social functions in these patients.